It makes me just incredibly proud of them. Two Boise sisters are joining a new trial testing out Moderna's COVID-19 vaccine on teenagers. As of now, the FDA has set age restrictions on both the Moderna and the Pfizer vaccine. In Moderna's case, it's only recommended for people 18 and older, and it's not clear what effects the vaccines could have on teens, and the company is hoping a clinical trial clears that all up. But so far, they've had a hard time finding participants. Our Joey Prechtel joins us now with the story. So Joey, why did these girls, why did they want to join the trial? What did they have to say? Well, Kim, Megan Amper told me that her two teenage daughters made the decision on their own to join this COVID-19 vaccine trial. The main reason for them is simply because they want to help out any way they can and getting us back to the way life was before COVID-19. If us um, helping them figure out if this vaccine will work can speed up the process, then yeah. Lulu and Evan Dahlquist Egbert are two kids from Boise. Lulu is 12 and Evan is 14. Like everyone else, their lives have been disrupted during the pandemic from school and sports. When everything got like shut down, the opportunities for playing sports were cut down by a lot and postponed. To their social lives. And we haven't really been anywhere in public that's inside other than like the grocery store or something in a long time. But now they're taking part in the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine trial for 12 to 17 year olds that we feel confident in the science that uh, this, especially for their age group, is a, a safe trial to participate in. Megan is their mom. She heard about the trial from her doctor. It is a long-term commitment. It's a 13-month trial, um, and they will have to log symptoms and have phone calls and regular visits and blood draws, so there is a commitment. The vaccine is the same one recommended by the FDA for adults. The thing is, kids are very different than adults. They react differently uh, and uh, they have uh, different risks uh, than uh, adults do. Dr. David Pate, he's a retired CEO for St. Luke's and a member of the state's coronavirus working group. He says they need this data to guarantee the vaccine is safe and effective for children. He also says it's important that teens get vaccinated to help the state move forward. If we can't get to herd immunity, it's very uh, unlikely that we can fully return to our normal lives. And that herd immunity is important for the Egberts, who can't wait to experience life on the other side of COVID-19. I'm looking forward to just being able to hang out with my friends and being able to go back to all the sports that I like to play normally. Probably traveling and school volleyball. I think that they're going to always remember this, that they're two of 3,000 you know, very brave adolescents in the United States who are making this sacrifice so that things can be safer for everyone. Now, according to USA Today, Moderna is having a hard time finding enough teens to take part in this trial. I was talking to Dr. David Pate about this and why it's so important to get teens in this trial. And one is simply because to make sure that this vaccine is safe and effective for them the way it is for adults, but then also, of course, to help the country reach that herd immunity level to finally bring it in to this pandemic. Now, this trial is a double blind trial, which means both Lulu and Evan will be either getting the vaccine or a placebo and they are scheduled to get that on Friday. Back to you, Kim. All right, when the trial begins, Joey, and, and we should mention it is unclear right now when children will have access to a vaccine. Some say it could be months away. Others say not until the end of year. So again, why these vaccine trials are so crucial. We, we appreciate their participation for sure. Joey, thank you.